today I'm just about to go shopping actually. It's Monday and I'm going with my mum and both of my grandma. So it should be nice. It's quite sunny outside as well. So it should be lovely, but it's freezing. Um, but I thought I'd do a little kind of come shopping with me and take you on a tour of what I'm doing and what I'm trying on in the changing rooms to make it a bit more interesting, I suppose. Um, and then I'll link the items that I managed to get or if I can link them, I will do. So yeah, we're going to Manchester. I don't know if I mentioned that. And we're going in about five minutes, so I better go. changing rooms and I've got this dress on but I'm not really sure about it. I just don't think it's flattering at all. I've got this in a size small but it's not really quite how I imagined it to be. And then I've got these boots on um, which are okay but I don't think I like them that much. And they're eight pounds as well so quite expensive. And this dress I think is 40 but now I'm just not feeling it. So I've got this one on now which I think is like a bit nicer. I'd wear it with like a roll neck underneath. Just turn it around on this one. Um but I'm still not convinced about it. I just don't think it's very I don't know I think it's okay but it's a bit plain a bit boring. So I quite like both of these things but not together and um, these are just some straight leg grey pants these are a size medium might try the small i think a medium fit quite well um and then this top i thought would be nice like when i wanted something a bit dressier but also casual could wear some nice earrings with it but i'm not sure about this either i like it but i'm not crazy about it and it's quite tight around the bottom I've got top and underneath it's quite tight around the bottom so I think I'd find that a bit awkward. So I didn't get anything in Zara, but I've come to H&M on the quest for a perfect grey knit. The lighting's not doing very well in here, but love this one. It's 34.99. I think this is a size medium, but this is the perfect kind of. You can see it behind there. Cozy, oversized knit. I love the neck on this as well. I've got some others, I've got quite a few others to try on. Some other grey ones, so I shall show you though. So this is the next, it's a dark grey and this is 17 so a lot cheaper. But it's also thinner. I do like the sleeves on this so you could always layer it as well, even though it's thinner. Can layer it to make it a bit warmer. So this is the final and it's in a lighter grey. I actually think this is... My favourite, this is kind of a mid price between the two, it was $24.99 I think, um, and it's warmer than this one, and not as expensive as this one. So um, I really like the neck and I like this shade of grey as well, so this might be a contender. Oh, and this is a size medium as well, because I prefer it a little bit oversized. So I've got these trousers on in a size 10, they're like a tie waist, really flattering, um, I love trousers like this, just with trainers. And then I've got the original jumper on again that I like, the more expensive one, which I still really like, but I kind of want a longer one to go with jeans and stuff like that, so I'm not convinced yet. But I'm definitely gonna get these trousers. I think they were 20 pounds as well. <laughs> now 
actually only got these trousers from H&M. I think they were $17.99, but I really, really like them. I think they're really flattering, and I'm wearing them today. I'll show you what I'm wearing, actually. So this is my full outfit. I'm going to the Trafford Centre today um, with Freya because we've got a couple of meetings there. Um, we're going to meet the management team and um, we've got an event at Jo Malone. We've got a few other things. We've got an Estee Lauder lipstick making event which we were meant to do ages ago. Um, we've got a facial and a, I think a tour of somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, but this is what I'm wearing for it. So I've got this Zara knit on. I don't think I'm going to take a coat because it's all inside the traffic centre, so it should be okay. Um, Zara earrings, which I got in the summer. And then these H&M pants with a tie belt. I don't know if you can see very well. I added a Stan Smith's and Saint Laurent bag. I'm kind of mixing metals today, but I think that actually kind of works. I think you can mix silver and gold a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go there very shortly, it's 10 o'clock now, we're due to have our meeting at half past 11 and then our first event at 12 and we've got lunch as well at the Champagne Bar in Selfridges I think, I'm very excited. Yeah, already. No, no, no. Today we're getting 
Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. Um, so you got that with what? Merentonka, which is like my all-time favourite, yeah. So I still I'm really like that. You. No, but Mimosa and Cardamom, I've never smelt it before, so I didn't know. It was lovely. And it is really nice, so... Yeah. Woo! So nice. Love my arm. I know. Mm. So soft as well. Oh, it smells so good. So we finished at... Jack and now we're at the Champagne Bar in Selfridges. Every time I sit on one of these high chairs, I get like vertigo. <laughs> Not because it's high, because I feel like I'm going to fall off. Yeah, like I'm I did that the other week at an event or something, and I nearly embarrassed myself. Um, yeah, I think it's a Champagne Bar for some lunch. What are we Chicken Caesar salad. Looks so good. I am starving. Yeah. So we're just back in the beautiful because we're going and we're getting a tour I think of the floor um, and like well I don't really know what to expect now but that's what we now
to get a lovely facial, hopefully. My camera around my face. Friday and I've not vlogged the past couple of days since when did we go to Trafford? Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, basically not much has happened. I said I had a full at home day filmed, edited a video and uploaded it um, which kind of is an all day process. Um, Wednesday, what did I do Wednesday? I don't know, probably just catching up on a lot of work I think. So that was that. Now Friday, I'm just about to go out for lunch because it's my grandma's birthday today. Um, so I'm going out with her and my other grandma. And then later this afternoon, I've kind of done everything that I needed to do for this week. Later this afternoon, um, I'm going to go over to Tim's because we're going to a concert tonight. I'm going to see Darius Rucker, which is a country singer. Um, I'm going there with his mum and dad and Tom, his twin. Um, so we're going there, I think around, we, well we're setting off just before five. So that's today, I don't know whether I'm going to vlog that or not, but I don't think it's going to be included in this vlog. I'm just in the process of editing this vlog and I don't know whether it's going to be a long one or a short one or what, but this is going to be the end of it. I was just going to show you this Jo Malone um, box that I got I'm getting it. Um, on Tuesday when we went, it was such a lovely experience and we got to meet um, Emily as well who is part of the Jo Malone team. I feel like I've been cont in contact with her for ages and we've never actually met so that was really lovely. Um, so basically what they did is um, talked a bit about the Christmas fragrances and also did some fragrance um, like mixing and choosing your own favourite scent which I've done before but I wanted something new sort of for autumn which is why I chose this one. So we have a smaller one and a larger one and they're kind of meant to complement each other. So the first one I got is Blackberry and Bay. So Blackberry and Bay which is more like an autumn scent which is why I chose it. And then I went for this which Freya also went for but she went for she got the smaller one of this and then the Mer and Tonka is a larger one. So this is the Mimosa and Cardamom. If you can see that. The Mimosa and Cardamom scent. So um, they go really well together, which is great. Um, I'm going to spray that now before I go out for lunch. Um, but yeah, it was such a lovely experience. And anyone can go to Jo Malone and get the fragrance thing done. And they give you a hand massage and chat to you about the fragrances and stuff. And they also showed us all the new advent calendars that have come out. Um, and they had this really cool thing. Basically, all of Selfridges has been... I thought I saw somebody, but it's just water dropping down. Um, basically, all of Selfridges has been done up. Um, and there's a new beauty floor entirely, which is amazing. We did the Beauty Insider tour, which basically showed us all around. Um, and so... What was I saying? Yeah, so part of Jo Malone, um, the new stand, is that it's got this, I, I did show it on camera, it's got this um, interactive screen where basically it's got all the bottles and you pull a bottle up out and the screen changes to whatever that bottle is. So say if it's grapefruit, loads of grapefruits will appear on screen. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah, there were so many things in the beauty floor. That was arranged by Jo Malone, but then all the other things we did at the Trafford Centre were um, arranged by the PR who does kind of Selfridges around Manchester. Um, so we did the beauty inside the store. The face gym, which was so funny. Hopefully I'll be able to get those clips because me and Freya swapped cameras. Um, <laughs> The footage is on the wrong um, camera, so hopefully we'll be able to swap footage back 
um but whether i can do that in time for when i want the vlog to be up for i don't know we'll see but basically they did this face gym which is amazing i can genuinely see my face change shape so they start off with what they call a warm-up it's like a gym session start off with a warm-up then they go on to like really they put a ball over your face and stretch your face out and they really massage it so she said right i'll do one side of your face first so you can see the difference so she did and i could see the difference like she said she'd focus around the cheek like the jaw not jaw cheekbone and you could see it slightly go in a bit obviously all the muscles are working and tightening and stuff like that so um yeah she so did that and then they put this like uh, electric thing on where it sends electric shocks through your skin and like makes makes basically it makes your face jump and it's out of control so your, my mouth is like it twitches like crazy it's the weirdest sensation but obviously that's meant to do really um good things to your muscles in your face i think it's like the first concept of this face gym rather than just a facial where it's going into the skin it's like actually working the muscles in your skin and that's at selfridges i think they said that was 80 pounds around 80 pounds to get that done um but I can't remember exactly, but it's definitely worth doing it or even worth buying somebody as a present or something because it's a really good experience. Um, yeah, so it's just great seeing the new beauty haul um, in Selfridges. And that's my Joe Malone things. And I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. I'm just wearing this ASOS um, thingy dress. What's it called? Midi dress? Knit dress? Um which I wore in my previous York vlog. I'm gonna wear this for lunch today. Don't know what I'm gonna to wear tonight, actually. What do you wear to a country music gig? I don't know. I mean, it's not gonna help suggestions now, is it? Too late. Maybe like a t-shirt and a blazer. Who knows? Um, so yeah, ASOS dress. Um, I've still got my joggers on underneath, so I'm not gonna bother showing you it because it's just, just not even right yet. Um, thank you for watching the vlog anyway, hopefully see you in my next vlog or um, comment below if you need subscribers, anything like that and yeah, see you in the next one and thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, <laughs> thank you, bye!